Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I just have for you a very random video. I am going on an adventure today. I'm going to the dry cleaners for the first time. And to be honest, I'm very nervous. Every time I'm gonna do something different, something new, I get very nervous. Even if it's something as simple as going to the dry cleaners. I'm sorry, you just keep seeing a flying rice cake on the frame. It's snack time right now, it's 11 a.m. and pretty much the whole morning i've been very lazy hence the face and the hair uh, i'm gonna go and get start getting ready right now i uploaded my empties video this morning so that's what i've been doing it's not like i haven't been doing much and i did film my pantone color of the year video as well i know i'm so late but i wanted to do it you know why not let me show you a sneak peek i have the hardest time filming my videos guys you have no idea Today I work with natural light for the first time for a nail video, like showing swatches and stuff, because I know I do my nail of the day videos outdoors. But this is the first time I actually do like a swatch video with natural light, so I'm not sure how that's gonna turn out. I am very, very nervous. It's very difficult for me to film, guys, because I don't actually have a camera. I do everything with my phone. Hold on, these baby hairs are driving me insane. Hold on, please. Wait. It's crazy, sorry guys, you know, we keep it real in this channel. But anyways, um, yeah, let me show you a sneak peek of my filming setup. So this is what I've been working with this morning. I have a dining room chair, a printout that my husband got for me from his work because I do not have a printer here at my house. I used my son's music stand to place my phone, which was quite a hassle because it wouldn't stand up, so I had to move locations a couple of times. But I finally got it to work, I hope, and I'm just here by my big windows in my living room and the five polishes that I pick. So yeah, expect that video soon. So I need to start getting more creative with how I film because it's it's a hassle, guys. You have no idea what I go through. Maybe one day I'll talk about everything that I used to film because it, it gets crazy around here. It really requires a lot of creativity for me to film and I usually film in the mornings when I'm home alone. My husband's at work, my kids are at school. So I don't have anybody to actually make sure that I'm on focus and that the lighting's correct. So I just kind of swing it every day to be honest. But yeah, right now I'm gonna go take a shower, get ready. And then I'm gonna go to the dry cleaners for the first time. All right, guys, so here's a peek into my face of the day. I'm clearly not wearing that much makeup today. I'm only wearing my SPF. This mascara, the Bella Pier Bottom Lash Waterproof Mascara. This mascara is not good. It's not waterproof. It does not give you volume. And I'm just wearing a little bit of lip balm. I got this lip balm from uh, Waxing Cara a few months ago in one of my Ipsy bags. Just wanted to share with you a quick close-up of the mascara in action. It's not even in action. I mean, it doesn't even look like I'm wearing anything. I'm sorry to hit you guys with another bare face, but I've been wearing a full face of makeup for like five days in a row, and that's too much for me. I personally don't like to wear a full face. I only wear it probably twice, three times a week if I'm filming, but this is just how I feel most comfortable with not wearing much makeup, to be honest. All right, so here is the infamous suit. Let's head to the dry cleaners. Okay, so I'm in my car now. Uh, my husband told me to Google to look up a dry cleaners and just go to the first one I see. But I just remember that there's one next to my local Adversen, so I'm just gonna go there. Do any of y'all get nervous when you do something for the first time? I always do. And like, I mean, I know it's just going to the dry cleaners. I mean, how hard can that be? I mean, <laughs> but I, I'm just, I, I always think of how, I always get scared. Like this morning when my husband told me to go, I literally just went to my room and laid in bed after he told me, after he asked me if I could please take his suit to the dry cleaners. I just went to my room and I laid down because I was so overwhelmed. Like I wanted to cry because I just, I get so afraid like fear always creeps in and I'm just afraid that I'll fail you know it's so weird like I, I was just thinking well what if I go and you know since I don't know what I'm doing they ruin his suit I just don't like doing new things by myself I always like sharing the experience with somebody else just in case something goes wrong or you know what not necessarily for that because you know that sounds like I'm expecting something bad to come out all the time but I think more than anything I always want to share the experience for comfort like I, f I get comfort in knowing that somebody's with me I don't know it's just weird I don't know if this even makes sense but yeah I'm very nervous to go to the dry cleaners and like I said it's only like a block away it's not that far but we'll see how it goes you know 
a new experience. I'm, I'm a 28 year old woman going to the dry cleaners for the first time, who is afraid to go to the dry cleaners by herself. But that's why I decided to film today. Uh, believe it or not, I find comfort in knowing that all 140 of y'all are coming with me. So yeah, let's, let's go. I made it I'm so nervous to go in <laughs> oh, I'm so ridiculous I'm telling you guys my anxiety gets the best of me like I'm over here in the parking space thinking maybe I should just drive back home and have my husband come but no let's do this okay guys that was not hard at all I feel so silly uh, but I feel so accomplished I feel like a big girl <laughs> Oh man, see that's why that's it's so rewarding to face your fears. I'm, I'm just so happy now. Um, but anyways, the, the lady in there spoke Spanish, so it was very comfortable. She was so nice. So I just have to come back tomorrow and pick it up. She gave me a receipt. Um, I feel like this is how my daughter feels when I ask her to do something for me and she does and I give her like a sticker. Uh, <laughs> I feel so, so happy that I got this done. Okay, now this video is going to be like a roller coaster of emotions. I just got very freaked out. A guy walked up to me to the passenger side of the vehicle and just literally opened the door and asked if I could give him a ride. I mean, he looked like a teenager, like a little kid, so I wasn't that scared of him. But that was so weird. Like, I felt so bad for him. Like, uh, no, you're evading my privacy. And I don't know. I feel very bad for him. But I'm freaked out. He asked if I had something to do right now. And I told him, yes, I'm going to the store. And he's like, well, can you wait for me? I need to get some stuff figured out. I'm like, uh... I'm not a taxi driver like <laughs> I can't I'm sorry I gotta head to the store right now and he's like okay well I guess I'm leaving and he closed the door that was, that was so freaking scary guys so I had to stop recording because I was ready to call 911 you guys might think that I live in the worst neighborhood ever I don't I'm literally still parked outside the dry cleaners but that was so scary Mm, now he's gone. I hope he's okay. I don't know, but and he was inside the dry cleaners talking to one of the owners of the place. So that's why I was not scared when I saw him. I was just a bit freaked out, you know, because nobody had ever evaded my privacy like that. Like you don't just walk up to people's cars, opening doors. Like what the hell? But anyway, uh, well, I guess after that incident, I guess. Sorry, I'm still a little bit in shock. Anyway, so yeah, right now I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree because I need to buy a shower curtain. I'm just gonna go there. See you in a little okay, bit. Okay, guys, so this is all the money that I'm taking down with me here at the Dollar Tree. Simply because I need to make sure that I don't go off and buy all the polish that they have. Alright guys, I did it. I stepped out of the Dollar Tree with only what I came for. Here it is. That's all I purchased. And of course, since I've now decided to be on a no-buy, my local Dollar Tree is now carrying all the Revlon polishes and the Kiss Gel nail polishes that everybody was raving about for the last months. Well, see, I never got them because I they were not available here. And now they have them. So that's a little... That was a little bit frustrating, especially because they had a green one that was very beautiful and a purple with some pink shimmer. I think the name of that polish was Necessity, which made it even harder to walk away. I'm not going to lie, but I did it. And again, I feel accomplished and that's a really good feeling. So right now I'm going to go home and we'll see what goes from there. So I just wanted to quickly share with you why my shower curtain needs a replacement. It's completely ripped off. I mean, I guess we're very strong around this house, so we ripped it. 
Okay, so it's almost one o'clock. That's enough time for me to clean both restrooms. That's what I'm gonna be doing right now, replacing the curtain and all that stuff. And then once I go pick up my daughter from school, we'll have a little chat, so. Let me go ahead and get started on those chores. All right, guys, I'm back in my vehicle. It's around 2.30 right now, and I'm just here on the driveway waiting to pick up my daughter. So this is where I'm gonna end this mini vlog. Uh, it was a very crazy day. After, after I started cleaning my restroom, uh, my brother called me. He wanted me to come check out his new home. Uh, my youngest sibling, my little brother, he recently purchased a home, and I'm very excited. Um, I'm, I may be wrong, but I think he's 23 and he's already a homeowner, you know, so it's a big accomplishment right now and I'm very excited for him. So that's what I did, you know, for his privacy, I didn't film anything in there, but that we went to go look at his, his home, his new home. He's moving in this month already. So a lot of things going on with the family right now. I just wanted to say that this morning I was having a tough day. I was having a very difficult day. In fact, it started yesterday. I just, you know, uh, again, this fight with depression and anxiety is a constant fight. But yesterday was just, I just felt very overwhelmed. Um, just a lot of negativity. Like yesterday was a day when I just was questioning every decision I make too much. At nights when we're unwinding from a day around 8 p.m., we, we always watch Junior uh, what was it called? Shop Chef Junior on Food Network. And, you know, it's very impressive to see all these little kids. You know, some of them are as young as eight years old. I mean, they're little kids. And they already know what their passion is. You know, that their passion is cooking. And they're so passionate when they're in that kitchen. And it's, it's, I mean, I admire that. So it just got me questioning about how. I'm a 28 year old woman and I still haven't found what I'm truly passionate about and it, I just started to feel very bad about everything that I do and and how everything that I do is not good enough and I just started saying to myself that you know what maybe I shouldn't even have my channel I'm not creative at all um, I have a hard time expressing what I want to express. I'm not good at communicating and so on. It was just a very negative day. And then um, to top it off, my goddaughter called and she's like brain cancer survivor. Well, in one of her routine checkups yesterday, uh, the doctor found something in a test, in a scan that she had done. So they're fearing that cancer might be back and those news were just very devastated you know it didn't make what was already a tough day any better so just a lot going through my head and like I mentioned this morning when my husband nicely very politely asked me to take his suit that he uses for church to serve the Lord every Sunday that you know he wanted me to take it to the dry cleaners and like I said he was very polite about it like hello I'm home right I can do it for him but then I allowed, I allowed my, all this negativity to just come down on me. Like I said, it might sound silly, but as soon as he told me that, I just went to my room and I laid down. I felt so overwhelmed. Like, I, I don't even know how to explain it, but it feels like sometimes like I, I can't get anything done. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I, I felt like oh great he's expecting me to do something and I'm gonna fail him because I'm so scared to go to the dry cleaners you know because I've never been and and I'm scared to ask questions and what if I look like a fool when I ask questions and a lot of self-doubt sometimes to be honest I think I'm my worst enemy too and I don't know if it's all part of the depression and everything that I'm you know fighting um, my emotional health and all that stuff but I just had to stop this morning because I was going down that very dark rabbit hole so quick and I was feeling just very sad and I have such a big fear of the unknown and and I shouldn't even worry about the unknown you know because tomorrow's not even promised so I decided to focus on what I can control I decided to do one thing at a time and so the first thing that I'm going to do is upload my video that I have ready to go, done. Second thing, I know I have to film videos for my upcoming week. So I wanted to do the 
the Pantone video that you guys saw at the beginning of this video of this vlog I don't think it's gonna turn out as one of my best videos cuz like I said emotionally I was not feeling my best but it's something that needed to be done so I'm like might as well get it out of the way to keep me busy on a positive thing you know because I don't want my I don't want to be busy in my head with all these negative thoughts I'd rather be busy doing something that's positive and to be honest doing videos on YouTube I'm not harming no one it's keeping me distracted from all the negativity that can fog my brain sometimes so YouTube has been such an amazing platform for me and I'm so glad that I even had the courage to start this channel because it keeps me very busy guys like I mentioned before it takes me forever to film it takes me forever to edit I need to really get thinking get my creativity going to think of a thumbnail or you know think of ways to say what I want to say in a different way so that I don't sound the same in every video so I'm very grateful for YouTube and just to see that now we're a uh, 140 140 subscribers guys that's crazy like it kind of makes me want to cry out of excitement though so you know for now I'm just gonna focus on the things I can control which is I need to keep myself busy in the mornings so I'm gonna continue making videos uh, and it's something good I'm doing something good so I know something good is gonna come out of this I feel like a lot of good has already come out of this and instead of deciding to focus on my limits and how I was so afraid of going to the dry cleaners by myself just getting out my phone and doing this vlog uh, was such a relief and I know it's hard to explain and I never fully understood vloggers when they said oh you guys are coming along or you know how they and how they say it so naturally like they mean it I'm like how can you feel that way but now after me attempting to do a vlog today uh, I get them it truly felt like all of y'all were there with me stepping into a dry cleaners for the first time uh, I really felt like all of y'all were there when I was scared with this little teenager boy. Um, that was that was scary, guys. <laughs> that was not a good experience. Did I mention earlier that that little kid, uh, and I say little because he's much younger than me. He was definitely like in high school, if not maybe 18 tops, maybe just recently out of high school. He offered me a sausage McMuffin from McDonald's in exchange for the ride by the way <laughs> which even then I cannot take because I'm trying to focus on eating better I'm a little nervous about my weigh in next week I had a very rough month but we'll see you know just gonna keep it real here and I hope I lost weight but if I didn't that's okay and we'll talk about it when the time comes you know for that video thank you so much for actually joining me today this morning I don't know how often I'm gonna do this kind of videos because to be honest most of my mornings are just me being at home doing editing and filming and that takes up all my morning so today we was just you know one of those days where my husband asked me to do something out of my comfort zone and I needed some comfort to feel better so I turned to you guys and you know I'm like I'm just gonna film my my little trip to the dry cleaners and then it became an eventful day after that kid came and invaded my privacy I just wanted to say to you know on those days when things are going rough just focus on all the positive things and know how to deal with your emotions when I was feeling bad I wanted to eat all the donuts in the world I wanted to stop at McDonald's and actually get a breakfast I wanted to go get some chips but you know what eating like crazy when I have a, a weight goal you know when I have a goal to lose weight I'm sorry I gotta move a little bit the lines moving like I was saying um, okay this lighting just worse but anyways just briefly like I was saying just focus on what you can control and know how to react to those negative emotions that you get in a positive way like I said I wanted to eat my emotions today or I wanted to just be in my room laying down I thought to myself you know what I'm not gonna film today I still have tomorrow to film and maybe even Monday I'll just upload the video late at night but why I need to stop making those kind of excuses for me and focus on something positive which is what I did today and which is what I want to recommend to you if you're going if you're having a hard day focus on the things you can control 
you cannot control a lot of things that are going on in your life or sometimes we cannot even control our feelings you know when you feel overwhelmed when you feel stressed but you can control how you react to those to those emotions and always always choose the positive side that's the choice that you have control over so that's what I did today I went out of my way and decided to vlog my morning and this is kind of exciting I don't know if I should even post this video I'm not sure if it's gonna be interesting to be honest I'm kind of nervous but but I'm gonna post it you know what I am I'm gonna get out of my comfort zone and we'll go from there if you guys can tell me later if you liked it or not okay so I stopped recording because I picked up my daughter and right now she wanted to come to the park so I brought her to the park but before actually closing off the, the vlog I wanted to ask you guys for prayers not just for my goddaughter and you know hoping that the cancer is not really back and that if it is you know the God can grant her the strength to push through it one more time but I also want to ask you for prayers for that little kid that scared me to death earlier today he seemed very disoriented so I, I think he needs prayers and I believe in the power of prayer so I, I'll really appreciate that and if you don't pray just you know send some positive thoughts uh, their way they they really need them but yeah thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next one bye